Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snowgrove and welcome to Best Replays, the weekly replay showcase in which you get to become the most famous World of Tanks persona for like three minutes by simply sending your replays into our inbox. Easy peasy. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and everyone's favorite bell icon. And let's get straight into it. Our first replay comes from Kenda19, manning the commander's position in the ever popular Leopard 1. The sniping medium tank, a perfect match for the wide open Studianki map. Ah, EBR drivers in their natural habitat. But with just two damaging shots, this opening play could hardly be described as fruitful. Wow, not happy with that spot either. Now that's what I call decisively indecisive. Finally, a position from which one is actually able to deal damage and impact the game. Which is about time as the allies are 4,000 HP and three tanks down already. So there's no more time for fancy switcheroos. Kenda has to get stuck in Zofort. Utilizing this commanding position to provide flanking fire, but more importantly, staying double bushed and never being spotted. Uh oh, overstayed our welcome there a little bit. But with all other enemy tanks occupied elsewhere, it might not be the worst of ideas to go on an arty hunt. I bet this T92 HMC won't be too happy in the enemy chat. Make that two arties that have not mastered the art of reading the minimap. And by holding such an unexpected angle, the enemies are just lining up like sitting ducks. Whoa, that's the surprise ruined. That means this position is no longer safe and Kenda has to relocate elsewhere. As a Leopard 1 would never stand a chance in a close range brawl. Kenda has to keep switching positions while using the superior view range and the accurate gun to outplay the remaining enemy tanks. But one more feint throws off the IS-7 just enough to secure the kill shot. And once more the tactic is the same. Take up a strong position with plenty of cover to then unleash a barrage of shells against unsuspecting enemies. They never stood a chance! Whew. But the final enemy is a full HP Grill 15 that has spotted Kenda in return. This doesn't seem like a bad spot for an ambush, especially when backed up by a friendly artillery too. Nice! Just two more shots are needed. Uh-oh, the grill seems to be tired of waiting. Hey, the friendly arty comes through with a vital kill to put the game beyond any doubt. GG! What an interesting game by Kenda19. Although they probably had that final kill in the bag, it's always nice to see some good teamwork. But what stood out for me were the numerous relocations which caused havoc among the enemy team. The stats page reads 11,099 damage, 8 kills and 1,667 base experience, more than enough to warrant appearing on our show and claiming 2,000 gold plus our best replay style. Well done! Taking the runner-up spot this week, it is a well-known name of Hocus Pocus Arty Focus, who will be relieved to find only one arty per team here on Malinovka. But what do we have here? A full-blown field rush? Haven't seen that thing work in a long, long time. 
Oof, that's the rich part of it. And here's the reward. Spotting every enemy base camper with 14 guns pointed right towards them. Two minutes into the game and the friendly 705A already triggers the cap. Yep, that can only be the good old Malinovka. You disappeared quicker than a toupee in a hurricane. All that Hocus Pocus arty focus needs to do is slowly hop from bush to bush and let the allies do the bang bang part. But where's the fun in that? Ooh -hoo -hoo. Now this Chrysler GF is truly stuck between a rock and a hard place. Ah, it looks like it's Hocus Pocus E Hunter Focus. What a sweet shot! I mean, this is just a rout at this point. And just like that, what remains of the enemy team is a few scattered heavy tanks that made it onto the hill on time. In other words, the final bit of damage on the menu in this game. And that's all she wrote. GG! What an explosive replay we had from Hocus Pocus Arty Focus. In it to win it from the first second of the game with a ridiculous Malinov garage that worked against all odds. A heroic play that nets our hero 10,257 damage, almost 6,000 spotting, 6 kills and 1,845 base experience. Yep, you heard it right. 16,000 damage combined. Now, if that's not worthy of a showcase, I don't know what is. Congratulations! Hocus Pocus Arty Focus, you will receive 2,500 gold NR style. And for the finale, the stage is set for one of the most dreaded TDs in World of Tanks. It is this sexy looking Object 268 version 4 in the hands of Ondrenzi. Ooh, in another game where our hero is going all in right from the get go. And for all of you allergic to the sizzle of a heat shell, this game shall contain none of that as Ondrenzi opts for just AP and HE. I mean, who would really need heat in a TD like this anyway, right? Right? Wow, okay, I'll take that back, I guess. Come on, this has to be a montage put together just to troll me. Well, resume the memory then, I guess. As the invincible 2684 strikes once again. Phew. <laughs> For a minute or two, I was afraid we turned on God mode for Andrenzi in our server settings. Just imagine how embarrassing it would be to reveal that secret. Oh, wait a second. 
Okay there, we seem to have lost connection there for a sec. But we are back with this completely ordinary game with a completely ordinary tank in yet another completely ordinary episode of Best Replays. <laughs> in which Andrenzi uses those few HE shells to great effect. Oh, you know, just another ordinary engagement for 2684 driver. Dispatching the enemies one by one. After all, this tank was designed on the chassis of a battering ram. And a mighty accurate and hard hitting battering ram too. But now that the enemy base is wide open, the question becomes, to cap or not to cap? Hmm, maybe leaving the unfortunate mouse to tango with a medium tank all alone would not be the wisest of ideas. That's right, get away from my mouse! Spotted, huh? Ouch! Oh, no way that blind shot hit! Wait! What was that? What is even going on in this game? I mean, when the second to last enemy tank attempts to become a mountain goat without first following Sane and Eon on Twitch, what else would you expect? Might as well finish the job and help the mouse with its ever-present Leo issue. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would be the end of this replay. GG! What a strange but impressive game by Andrenzi. I'd almost call it strangely impressive, as it had some of the most perplexing plays we've witnessed, combined with an exceptional performance by our hero. Scoring a grand total of 10,180 damage with 6 kills and 1,477 base experience while being on the front lines and making us laugh throughout the replay. For that we award Andrenzi with 3,000 gold, the unique best replay style and the title of best replay this week. Congratulations! Wow, that was certainly some replay to put a wrap on an exciting episode of Best Replays. After having nothing but Tier 7 tanks last week, this time you've been extremely proficient in Tier 10 tanks it seems. So what's in store for next week? Who knows? You are the ones who make this show possible. So don't hesitate to send us your replays and we won't hesitate to compensate them with amazing prizes and sexy styles. So head over to What We Plays, or even better, our World of Tanks Discord, and show us what you got. Anyway, till next time, I'm Anna Snowgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!